Omaha Public Schools is excited to offer Office 365 for all staff and students. Office 365 will hold your email and so much more. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to log in to the website and to check your email in Office 365 Outlook. The first step is to find the website. In any web browser, type in the URL login.microsoftonline.com. I suggest you either bookmark this website or favorite it. You can even make it your home screen for this web browser. And if you want, you can even take the little icon next to the URL and drag it out to your desktop so that you have a shortcut to this website. You'll be using it often, so make sure you find a way that works for you. Once you get to this website, you're going to click for the username. You're going to use the same username that you use for first class. However, with Office 365, they're not going to recognize that you're an OPS employee. So to make sure that they know that you're an OPS employee, you need to add at ops.org at the end of your username. This is not your email address. This is just your username. The only reason why you're adding in the at ops.org is to make sure they know you're a part of our company. The password will be the same as your first class password. When you update your password with the network, which will ask, it will ask you every 180 days to change it, it will instantly update it for Office 365 also. I'm going to select Sign In. I'm going to choose to not have this save my password for security. When I log in, it takes me directly to my Outlook account. Now, if this is the first time that you've logged in with your account, it will actually take you to the dashboard. So I'm going to take you there first. The dashboard can be located on the left side where it shows the Office 365 logo. I'm going to select that. And for the first time that you log in, it will take you directly to the dashboard. Now, notice in the dashboard that you have some tiles at the bottom, such as Outlook. And then that same option is up in your navigation pane. So I have Outlook at the top. There's a lot of different applications within Office 365, but the only thing you need to focus on for October 20th is Outlook. Starting on October 20th, all emails will go in and out of your Office 365 Outlook. Now, it is important that you still take time to check first class daily because you'll have your calendar and your conferences. Those will not be moving to Office 365 on October 20th. That will take some time to transition. So for October 20th, make sure that you're checking Office 365 Outlook for your email, but continuing to use First Class through the year to check your calendar and your conferences. Let's learn a little bit about Outlook. You can choose to click on the tile or up in the navigation pane. When you first enter Outlook, on the left side, you're going to notice that you have your inbox, your sent items, and your drafts. You'll see them down below also, it just happens to be that they're favorited up at the top, so you can click in either place. In the main section in the middle, you're going to see any of the messages that come to you. And then when you want to open a message, you can click it once and the message will display in the reading pane. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new message. I'll go up to the top to New Mail. In the To section, I'm going to search for somebody that's within OPS's global directory. I can do this by typing in a first name, so I'm going to start typing in Eileen. And it remembers that I recently emailed Eileen Heller, so it pops that up first. If I want to look at who else would have that same first name, I'm going to click on Search Contacts and Directory, and it will look for anybody with that first or last name of Eileen. Now another option that I could do is I could type in a last name, and again, it will find somebody that you recently emailed, or you can search for anybody else with that same last name. If the person that you're wanting to email is the person that pops up, you can just press enter and it will pop that person up into your to section. If you wanna make sure that that person is the one that you're looking for and it's not somebody with the same name, you can right click and choose view details. In the view details section, you can see where they work to make sure you have the right person. I can also click to delete that person off if I don't want them in my message. I'll create my subject, my body, and I can also highlight and change the font, the size, 
bold it, and colors. Now something interesting about Office 365 is that there's additional features, but they only show you the key features that people use most often. If you want to find additional features, there's two ways that you can find them. For example, in the formatting toolbar, there's two tiny arrows. And when I hover over it, it says more, and I can click to get more options inside here. Another thing that you can look for are three little dots. For example, at the top, when I'm ready to send or discard this message, insert or apps, if I want more options, I can click on those three little dots and get more choices. Now, I'm going to go back into that insert because if I wanted to insert something specific into this message, I could select three things. I can add an attachment, pictures in line, or a signature. I'm ready to send this message, so I'm going to select Send. That sent message can now be find, found in my Sent Items box. These are the key things that you're going to need to know by October 20th. How to log in to your Office 365 account, how to locate Outlook, and how to view, read, and reply to emails. Now, one important thing before you're finished is to learn how to sign out. Over on the far right side is the silhouette of a person. You can select that silhouette and choose Sign Out. Look for future trainings for Office 365. Have a great day.